Hey, Shalom. Double honesty, apostles of great mill. Sorry, Salak here. All praise unto Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Double honesty, apostles of great millstone. And honesty, brothers, will be pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So, um, I'm going to do a quick, quick video. I'm going to go into some scriptures. I'm going to go into the, the to proving that we're living in Babylon, Babylon the Great. Okay, Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, all of these different things. And I'm going to go for the uh, Sodom and Gomorrah aspect of. Uh, of um of the times that we're living in okay so um i tried to ring the brother who posted this uh in the um in the chat to see if he did a video on it but he didn't pick up so hopefully i'm not doubling up on uh on information here so what you got here is a million one million that is of britons identified as lesbian gay or bisexual okay now when you go into the scriptures you find out basically not basically but it's, it's an abomination. Man lying with a man, or man lying with mankind as he lied with a woman is abomination, and vice versa. Okay, and so he's swinging both ways. So the Most High has seen all of this wickedness, like it says within the book of Amos, the ninth chapter, and the eighth verse. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon this sinful, sinful kingdom, and I'll destroy it from off the face thereof. Well, Lord seeing all of these things. Okay, now it's interesting because they got, they got, they're walking there on the street saying, Love is love. Well, let's start off with that within the scriptures, okay? So we're gonna go to the book, the the the, the blue that, okay? We're gonna go to the the book of First John, okay? The book of First John, two, and um, what is it? Second John one and six. Second John one and six. Second John one and six is, okay? That's the brother ringing back now, okay? Uh, uh Second John, uh, one and six. All right, excuse me. All right, Second John one and six, and let's see what the scripture says as pertaining to what is love. Okay, so it says uh, Second John one and six, and it says, and this is love. So they they, they saying like love is love, not contrawise. This is love according to the scriptures, and it's interesting. A lot of these individuals claim they're so called Christian, whatever, whatever. Okay, they all claim that the God that they worship is uh, is cool with that. Okay, now we know there's a lot of so called atheists within this world because well, the most is gonna return them magnify his name upon the face of the earth and that's going to happen the book of second Ezra, the 13th chapter tells you that so it says and this is love that we walk after his commandments this is the commandments that years have heard from the beginning you shall walk in it and what did you hear from uh, from the beginning well the scripture talks about it within was it uh, uh, uh the book of leviticus right if man life with mankind as he life with a woman okay let's get that right Okay, as he lied with, uh, with mankind, okay, the two of them have committed an the, uh, abomination. Okay, and the scripture goes on to say that they shall be put, they shall be put, to, they shall be put to death. Okay, so um, let's uh, let's get it right quick. So this is this is the book of Leviticus, Leviticus twenty and thirteen. It says, if a man also lie with mankind, as he lies with a woman, okay, the both of them are committing an abomination, and they shall surely be put to death. And let's transpire that now to the book of Revelations, the thirteenth chapter. Book of Revelations, the 13th chapter. No, the book of Re Revelations, the eight, 11th chapter and the 8th verse and see what it says there. Okay, so this is uh, Revelations 11 and 8. It says, and their dead bodies. This is talking about the Israelites. Okay, their dead bodies shall lie in the great city, right, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Okay, so it, what does it say? Sodom and Egypt. These people are promoting sodomy. So that proves we're in Babylon. Okay, but we also know that there's going to be a great judgment that's going to fall upon Southern Egypt, Babylon, all of these, this, all, all of those ancient empires. This is the modern iteration, okay, of those, um, of those empires, okay. And this is this, and you bet, you know, you, you, you better be damn sure that this is, um, this is, this is, this is a uh, Southern man. Right? This is Babylon. This is Egypt, especially out there in America. You had it to where the men of the Lord was, 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 you know, was, was put in hardcore captivity out there. Okay, so let's finish up on this. It's the book of Amos, the ninth chapter, and, uh, uh, um, and the eighth verse. And it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom, and I'll destroy it from off the face thereof. Saving utterly, I will not destroy the house of Jacob. Okay, I'm going to skip down to the tenth verse. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, uh, um, The evil shall not overtake us, nor prevent us. So this this is the spirit that these individuals are in. All right, and you got it to where you're going to have a large proportion of them is going to be Israelites. Okay, they say the evil shall not overtake him. That is to say, the bad times that come as a result of what? Of doing iniquity. They're saying that they, that's not going to overtake him. But the fact of the matter is, the judgment is going to come upon the whole earth. Okay? The scripture talks about how, how Babylon is going to be destroyed, man. 
all this sodomy, all this abomination, that's going to be taken out of the earth. Okay, not by our doing, but by the Lord's. Okay, the Lord's going to be the one that's going to be, he's going to be issuing that judgment out. Now he's going to get the men of the Lord to get involved. Oh, we're going to, no, we're going to let loose then. Okay, but now you're going to come all, you know, politically correct and this, that and the third, which is all BS because what? Because it's this so-called political correctness is against the ordinances of the scriptures, man. Okay, so, you know, pretty much with that, hopefully that was of edification. Um, like I said, hopefully I didn't double up on the material that was, uh, if it's already been pushed out there. And um, uh, I'll say, oh, praise unto you, Abba, Shimei, Shai. Double honesty, apostles of great millstone. Honestly, prophets will be pushing the truth in sincerity. And uh, Lord's will, I get to do, we get to do this again another time. Shalom.